hello everybody, Cat here. Welcome back to Okami HD. Why is it saying begin story? What, did it not save? Okay, there we go. I was scared for a second there. Welcome back. Okami. Okami. We are in Kamiki Village with Okami, who is the best doge and the annoying little bug. And I found two of the Okamis. I found the mouse Okami and the dragon Okami. So yeah, I'm just gonna get back into this nonsense. Um, everything should be fine with my microphone now. Sorry about what happened with Skyrim. I apologize for this in an episode of Pillars that you guys aren't gonna see for like, I think two weeks? Two weeks is the point I'm at. Ooh, what is in this tree? How does this game, aha, this is how. Uh, nothing happens? Oh, or do I have to? some delicious food of goodness. Um, I, yeah, yeah. I just finished doing my run for pillars. Sheesh, he's always snoring like a bear. Okay, this one needs to wait for a second. I just finished recording some pillars um, earlier, so I'm, I'm really excited for that. So excited. But this has also been really cool. The mechanics in this game are not like anything I've done before, but the whole like style and tone of it reminds me of Spyro. So I love it. And I also get to play with the voices, which is fun. This is the home of the two-bit middle-aged warrior, Susano. He goes around claiming to be a descendant of Nagi. He's famous around here for his lineage, but he's awfully lazy and too off the wall to be a descendant of a legendary hero. Oh, I can't break that rock. Got camera, howdy camera. Oh. Can I not make a bridge to that? Oh, wait, wait a second, wait a second. I killed Okami! Oh my god, I didn't think I could drown. figured out after everything is backwards that did nothing everything is backwards up is down and right is left and it's tripping me out um let's go see what's up with susano the, the, the greatest oh, let's Whoa! Look like he ain't waking up anytime soon. He's out cold! Wait, really? No, if his mama catches you snacking, she'll clobber you good. But breaking her shit won't get me clobbered? Ow. This must be where she ages the sake. Smells good, doesn't it? Smells so good, I want to try some. What am I examining? Mmm, smells like her. You fucking weirdo. Okay, so I apparently have, like, only limited swim time. And I don't like that. That scares me. I, I think as intended, probably. I guess I'll go up the mountain. Uh -huh. Heave! Heave! 
This is weird. My mind really wants to shift this rock. But my body won't cooperate. It's like I'm made of lead. Could this be a case of demonic possession? I sure hope not. Accumulated praise! Whoa, Annie! You suddenly started glowing! That means your divine attributes can be enhanced! Well, you sure look excited. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a stab at enhancing your divine attributes. I'm gonna open the fan menu where you'll see your divine attributes. It's like listening for my entry level classes. Use the praise you've accumulated to enhance any attribute you want. Well, is it all coming back to you or what? Huh? It's hard to notice such a small enhancement? Oh, lighten up, furball. This is one big step for the new and improved Imaturasu. Keep up the good work. Oh, I almost forgot. We better check in on that dude. Yeah, we better. Uh, I feel as light as a feather now. Sadly, that doesn't make it any easier to ship this boulder. We went and blocked the only path out of here anyway. There's no way I can get back to the city. There's no way I can get back. Ah, that's like... There's no way I can get back to the city now. I don't know. Say, Pup, your owner lives here in the village, right? So you must know that guy, Susano. Can you get him to come here? They say he's the descendant of the legendary hero, Nagi. If anyone can do something about this rock, it's him. That's strange. This boulder wasn't here before. Hmm, I am the greatest. Let's wake this guy up. Uh, uh, wrong button. Yes. What the? What the? Huh. I swear, all my guys have the same voice. Uh, I feel so well rested. I plan to meditate underground before I fell asleep. Huh? Who are you? What business do you have, Susano, the greatest warrior ever? Do even the beast know of my great exploits now? Well, Fido, I'm not looking for apprentices. Go back to the mountains and play with your monkey friends. How dare a mage nut like you interrupt my meditation? Get a load of this guy! All brawn and no brains! Quit messing around and come with us! You stuck in here again? Quit bugging me, you... you... bug! I told you! Don't call me a bug! Come on, Annie. We're taking him with us. What do you think you're doing? Put me down this instant? What would the neighbors think? You mangy nut. You brought me all the way here just to test yourself against me? Then prepare to taste the wrath of my trusty blade, Tohen Boku. Oh, oh, hold on a minute. Oh, wrong voice. Uh, uh, hold on a minute. You're the legendary Susano? Yep, uh, yep, none other than Susano, the greatest warrior who ever lived. And by the way, never interrupt the warriors engaged in battle. But I've got a favor to ask you. This huge boulder blocking the path is really getting in my way. Can you do something about it? What? Come on, please. I mean, you are Nagi's descendant, aren't you? Surely one stone's no match for your mighty skills, right? Uh, it is certainly not beyond my ability. Really? 
Great. Okay, no time like the present. Go for it. Well, wait. A boulder of this size is not very easy, even for me. This will require my utmost focus to magnify the power of my sword. I shall retire to the training grounds to make preparations. And wait for my return. Hmm, I wonder. I've never seen the guy train seriously. Ever. Can that guy really handle this? Well, I guess all I can do is wait here. <laughs> Looks like Power Slash just isn't enough. At least I tried. I know I told that merchant I could help, but a boulder of that size? I don't care if I'm of a legendary bloodline, it's just too big. Huh? Oh no, I can't believe I've run out of sake at a time like this. This won't do one bit. That's it for today, I'll just have to train tomorrow. I can't train without sake to fuel the fire. Training will just have to wait till tomorrow. Why do today what can be put off until tomorrow? That's doing things the Susan away. <laughs> Oh, hello there. I've got a bit of a problem, you know? I have to polish rice in the mill house before I can use it. But the mill is broken. The wicked monster broke it the other day. It's hopeless trying to make good sake without clean rice. Wow, that's too bad. I should never have let that monster try my new thunder brew. A broken mill and flattened crops. That's all the thanks I get. Don't go getting monster sake. They're bad enough sober. Sheesh, what was she thinking? Anyway, I guess this is a matter of fixing something that's broken. There we go. That booty. What, what's this? The mill's been mended. Who on earth did that? I'd completely given up on the idea of making my sake. But now I can get on with polishing the rice. Well, no time like the presents. I'd better get started. She walks so slow, it's painful. <laughs> You're interested in how to brew sake, are you, Snowy? Well, this thing here is for polishing the rice, you see? I'll tell you what, I've got something I think you'll like. It's just some leftover stock from the store. But I made it myself. It's called Vista of the Gods. Oh, but are you even old enough to drink, Snowy? Yes. Delicious. Oh, I was holding a button. That's okay. F F Fido, my friend, did you bring me some of Kushi sake? Oh, what a glorious day. Ah, good old sake. A man without drink is like a warrior without his trusty sword. In fact, it is said that if Nagi himself relied on the power of sake in his battle with the dreaded Orochi, it's all so clear now. Let the training begin. I'll just try a bit of my usual routine. Okay, here I come. I'll not get off so easy next time, dummy. Oh. I'm supposed to cheat? Let me get mentally prepared here. Okay, here I come. Feast your eyes on this. Susano style. Exploding implosion! Huh? Kaya! Susano style. Exploding implosion! Well then. Uh, uh, that's amazing. You sliced that huge rock clean in half. You really are something. Wow, I didn't think you could do it, Pops. 
Me. me either. Uh, I, I mean, of course I could. After all, I am Susano, the greatest warrior ever! You weren't just showing off when you said you're Nagi's descendants. Someone like you'd have no trouble fighting monsters off, huh? Well, anyway, thanks a lot. Now I can start doing business again. D d d did you say monsters? Uh, of course! No, no problem! Th this is a job for most skilled warrior in all of Nippon. Yes, I shall rid these lands of their vile presence. Just sit back and watch the great Susano work his magic. He's gonna get himself killed. Think he'll be okay? The monsters outside the village are nasty. Uh, glorious Amaterasu. Is the butt of her skirt cut out? What? Are you... are you... Dope. Oh, okay. What a pleasure to witness your heroic deeds in awe. I'm in awe. When you cleave the boulder into two, my heart skipped a beat. To see your skills with the brush is to be witness to a great art. Yeah, so do we get a reward or something, lady? I hardly think your participation had any impact, little bug. It's Isun! Isun, Isun, Isun! Stop calling me a bug! I'll crawl back into your kimono if you say that again. My word. Aw, oh, relax, lady. Furball here is more comfy anyway. Let's get back to that reward thing you were talking about. Come on, Amy. Put your paw up or something. Go on, shake! I must apologize. I would like to reward you, but I'm afraid I haven't the power. I can barely muster enough strength to make a flower bloom. So my body stands firmly here within the confines of the village. My roots spread far and wide, protecting remote areas outside. These parts of me are known as guardian saplings. They collect the praise and adoration that gives me strength. The recent evil is eroding the guardian saplings. This continues, and the world's away as well, and my power will vanish. Of course, yet, the dark power grows stronger with each passing day. Life as we know it will be consumed utterly in no time. Oh man, this is getting heavy. As Emra Tarasu takes a nap in the background. Great and powerful Emma Tarasu. Could I be so bold as to request your assistance in rejuvenating these guardian saplings by lifting the curse that enslaves them? I shall mark the locations of nearby saplings on your map. So there's two here. I have grown tired. I haven't even the strength to speak now. You're gonna catch a cold like that, lady. I hope my request has not fallen on deaf ears. And it's Rasu. May the fresh scent of flowers protect you always. That makes me think of the little goddess fairies in Zelda. Bah! I'm always itching for a good fight, but... I sure don't want to poke my nose into this mess. Still, I'm stuck with Furball here till I get the brush skills. Anyway, Amy's a god and all. What could possibly go wrong? I mean, I just drowned. Hey, did you listen to her, Furball? You got the rest of the brush techniques to save the world. 
And all steal and learn them. Yeah, that's the ticket. At any rate, let's start by following those marks on the map. Shinshu failed. Huh? You probably know this already, Ami, but... This here is Shinshu Field, the most beautiful field in Nippon. At least, it's supposed to be. But ever since that incident, I've been getting a bad vibe. You better watch where we're going. You can look at the map by holding down LT. Let's pay attention to the map as we push ahead. Emmy, that's the first guardian sapling marked on our map. It's supposed to be a place for travelers to rest and recuperate. But just look at it. It looks like it could fall over at any moment. This place is definitely cursed from the looks of it. Places where evil has taken hold, lurking monsters from far and wide are known as curse zones. I've never seen one this big. It's withered all the plant life in the area, even that big tree. It'll take a monster with powers even beyond a god to move this. That tree's an offshoot of Sakia. It protects nature in the area. Maybe all natural beauty here would return if we revived it. But how the heck could we do that anyway? By killing the thing that's ruining it. to pick up the money. Another statue. He has everyone here turned into stone. They must have been struck by some terrible curse. The only way to help them is to rid this curse zone of evil. I'm working on it. Oh god, don't go in now. Holy cow, this is bad. It looked like your regular old curse zone from back there. But the evil here is far worse close up. It would curse a normal person in a flash. I'm afraid it might even rob you of your power. Okay, noted.
Consumed cabbage! Thick and fibrous vegetable. Fills astral pouch a little. So yeah, killing the scroll first makes a lot of difference. I was out here chopping wood and communing with nature as usual, and I heard a loud rumbling like an earthquake from the lake. The lake, uh, and then a huge gust of wind blew up out of nowhere. I don't know what happened next, but when I came to, it was like this. My art workshop was just across the street there. And the weapon vanished when this cursed zone appeared. The earth must be angry. All I want is to live with nature in peace, man. Now I can. I noticed a figure running from the lake towards Kamiki. Whoever it was, man, I hope Mother Earth kept him safe. Sorry! 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 What's up, nature buddy? Curious about that cave? It's the entrance to a place called Hannah Valley. The site of an amazing waterfall that monsters have moved in now. It's a trippy crystal ball that makes plants grow and shrine there. You'd think gardeners would be flocking here for it. Actually, not long ago, that Susano guy went marching in there. It's weird. Normally, he runs away at the sight of monsters and hardly seems the type to try his hand at gardening. Anyways, bad karma, man. You could be attacked if you went in. What's up, dog friend? You really want to check out Hannah Valley, huh? But you can't see the waterfall in there now because of the monsters. Give me mad vibes, I wouldn't go in there, man. Oh, 
All right. I'm gonna leave that episode here. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna play a little bit more today, I think. But I uh, I'm gonna leave this one here for now. Thank you for joining me, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!